Dark days are here again. Your demons are back, and as before, that's actually a good thing. Our shadowy shooter, Jackie Estacado, returns in the darkness too to kick some more mobster butt, and this time, someone wants to steal his thunder. What the darkness? We chase down some of the wise guys behind the game to shed light on Jackie's gritty new saga. All right, so tell me, where does Jackie's story pick up from? So, The Darkness 2 takes place two years after the events in the first game. You're now Dawn of the Estacado crime family. If you remember in the first game, Jackie had the darkness, you know, it was his 21st birthday, he got the darkness back, and at the end, he ended up killing his Uncle Polly, so he became Dawn. So Jackie's been suppressing the darkness. He's kind of kept it down, you know, it's a dark demonic force, it's kind of in his head. He's pushed it down because he just doesn't want it. He doesn't want to be that guy. So now that we know Uncle Polly is not his main foe this time around, who are some of his new enemies? He finds out that the Brotherhood is kind of the main antagonist in the story, and the leader of the Brotherhood turns out to be Victor Valente. Face it, Jackie. You can't control the darkness, and you never could. Their main mission uh, when they started was to kind of rid the world of the darkness, but by the very nature of the darkness, it corrupts people. They want the darkness back, they know he has it, and they'll pretty much do anything that they can to kind of get it from Jackie. Jackie at that point is forced to release it and use the power, and so now he's kind of struggling with the fact that he's had to let the genie out of the bottle, per se, and how to bottle it back up. Unlike the first game, the darkness stays with you throughout the gameplay, which means you can dual wield your firearms while also unleashing your trusty pair of demon tentacles for quad wielding. We kind of put everything else through what we call like the digital extremes blender, and uh, and you know what are the things we loved and that we wanted to kind of enhance, and we loved having you know these two demon heads on the screen at all times. What we wanted to do is have that you know all the touch of the buttons to be able to you know okay I can use I can grab with one I can slash with the other one and I can quad wield basically use two guns two demon arms at the same time. So that's kind of a big difference you know between our game and the first game and really our game and other shooters as well. You can kind of quad wield. You can use all these things at the same time. The Brotherhood will never. Never stop, Jackie. The darkness belongs with us. In the first game, it was a little bit more as you went further, you just your powers just leveled up. So this time, you actually are going to get to make choices as to when and where and how you want to level up. Yep. Yeah. The tree is pretty vast, and yeah, it's pretty much up to the player to choose what they want to upgrade, when and where. As you go through the world, you're eating hearts, you're getting essence, you're killing guys, you're getting essence. And this essence channels into our talent and progression system, which is how you actually get new powers. A couple of the really cool ones, gun channeling. Uh, when you upgrade to that, it allows you to channel your dark powers through your guns, which give you unlimited ammo and amp damage for a short amount of time, so you can just unload. I'm a big fan of the unlimited ammo, so it will really help That's my Rambo fun. tactics. Also crucial to your success in the darkness, too, is a cheeky new Darkling companion. Right, I'm gonna need your help here. Close your peepers a tick. In the first game, you know, we had Darklings, they were a set of gameplay tools that you kind of commanded. In our game, the Darkling is a fully realized character, so he's, he's got his own narrative beats. Uh, he really saves, he saves you in a lot of situations. He'll distract enemies, he'll do things like get on their head, ride them like a horse, and he'll have a hat. You know, so he distracts them, so you can either take them out, you can do an execution, you can shoot them. <laughs> and I actually hear you might get to play some of the game as a Darkling. Yep, yeah, you get to kind of experience what it's like to be this little guy. You know, he has a different kind of view on the world. Sometimes when Jackie's incapacitated, he can still kind of take over the Darkling, and the Darkling can go and kind of, you know, take out enemies stealthily. So you get this kind of stealth element that comes just from playing the Darkling. When with your Jackie, you know, you're kind of a, you know, badass, killing everything. So it's a, it's a nice change of pace. Fans who recall the compelling depiction of Jackie's tragic romance in the original will be happy to know that his ill-fated lover, Jenny, makes a return. Jenny is in some form in the game. Jackie's still very much in love with her. You know, she was brutally murdered in the first game. He's been kind of fighting her death and just memories of her. He sees ghosts of her and, you know, he's just really kind of been tormented throughout the, obviously, end of the first game and even up till now. And so she is very much a part of the second game. I really hope everyone plays the first game. It's a great game, but we, we're really good about bringing you into the franchise. We show you all the important beats. So once you're in there, we have a full, complete story that kind of stands alone. It just builds on what was there. Jack. Jenny. Jenny's dead. Focus. Elevating the tragedy of the story and the action of the gameplay is the rich art design. 
keeping the series true to its comic book roots. The developers spent a lot of time reading the comics, kind of getting to know the universe and, and figure out what makes those comics and that, that look. We took a look and we said, you know, how can we do this kind of in a graphics engine? So we tried that. We were like, okay, we'll, we'll try to make it feel really vibrant. We could do that, but how do you make it feel hand-drawn? And so we, we tried a lot of different techniques kind of with graphics to do that, and we realized that wasn't going to work. So we got a team of artists together, and we went through and we hand-painted every texture in the game. So uh, it really feels when you're going through the game that you're playing a graphic novel. There was multiplayer the first time around, but now there's something called Vendetta? Yes. We have this co-op component to the game called Vendettas. And it's really exciting because I figured co-op would be a great addition to the story. It allows us to have four new characters, and the neat thing is is they all have darkness abilities of their own. They have their own upgrade system, they have their own uh, talent trees, and, uh, and it, really, it really shows you the whole, the whole world of the darkness. This crew is helping out Jackie. I mean, he is a mobster, he's a mob don. It's, it, it makes sense that he has a crew that he can count on. Start practicing your creepy voice, FPS fans. Or oh, Jackie. With a meaty new multiplayer, <laughs> solid storytelling. That's just how the darkness likes it. Rich art direction and the madcap action of quad wielding. The Darkness 2 has all the makings of a standout shooter. So turn out the lights and come to the dark side. Just try not to freak out, all right? <laughs>